Hello, Duke Wrestling followers. This is the Two Minute Drill, and I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Ben O'Reilly. Duke Wrestling made another trip to Big Ten territory this past weekend, Ann Arbor to be exact, where they took on Eastern Michigan and Michigan. The opening duel with Eastern Michigan, Duke suffered a 30-9 loss. There were three wins from three consecutive weight classes, Brandon Gambucci winning 8-5 over Vincent Pizzuto, Tanner Ho 141 winning 4-0 over Michael Shaw, and Marcus Kane winning 5-0 over Justin Mellick. Head coach Glenn Lanham commented on the team's performance. He simply stated that the team needs to get over the fear of competing against top-notch competition. Once they've done this, Duke Wrestling will rock the world. The team lost a hard-fought match to number 14 Michigan, 30-14, picking up four wins. At 149, Marcus Kane beat John Eveshevsky 7-5 to earn his 11th win of the year. We hit a three-win streak late in the duel to close the gap Michigan opened up early. At 174, Trey Adamson laid a smackdown on Brandon Hill, winning 10-2 to give the team bonus points. At 184, Diego Bencomo beat Jordan Thomas 6-3. And at 197, Connor the Big Red Machine Hartman gave Chris Heald a bully beatdown winning 9-0. Although classes will be on winter hiatus, we will be here training hard to prepare for the Southern Scuffle January 1st and 2nd. This tournament will mark the long-awaited return of heavyweight Andrew Folk Smash Folk and 157 pounder Emmanuel Kerr Champion Brown. Stay tuned for the results and highlights next time on the 2-Minute Pro.